Um, we did have someone that uh, mentioned something in the chat real quick, um, which is going to lead me into something else here. It says, really high pressures, they're going to leak. They're going to they're gonna eventually leak because the pressure is so high. Why? What's your experience? Why are they going to leak? Well, I guess because whoever's joining them together is... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't it's know. not the system's problem. <laughs> yeah, like, it's most likely not the system's problem, but uh, what, what about leak. like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where do they typically leak? So just in your experience, if they do. Where does a residential unit leak? I feel like I'd write a song about this. There you go. Like so tableau with service leak. valves evaporator. <laughs> yeah. That's where they leak on CO2 systems too. So no, no surprises there. How, how are the pipes joined typically in CO2? So on the high, on the high side, the high pressure side, the transcritical side, they use two different types of materials. There could be stainless steel, or they could be using a type of copper called K65. Uh, so it's high pressure rate of copper that can handle up to, I think it might be 1900. It's 130 bar, 135 bar, which is around 1900 PSI. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to look it up again, <laughs> but it's higher pressure copper. There's iron in it. So it makes it a higher burst pressure rating. So you can use copper or stainless steel. Most manufacturers are using stainless steel because copper is more expensive right now anyway. And a lot, a lot of technicians know how to work with copper. So for reference, if you say bar, we're just going to tune you out yeah. because if it, we're going to need to hear inches, feet, don't no meters. No, I'm just kidding with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I understand. I, I saw a bar on one of my gauges. You know, it's much larger than the PSI. Or you were there and drinking at the bar. <laughs> drinking at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So think, one bar equals 14.5 PSI. There you go. Oh, Learn something easy. tonight. That's almost atmosphere at sea level. That's really that's close. It. Huh. It is. It's like that's intentional almost, I feel. Yeah, it is probably intentional. <laughs> I feel like that is intentional. Well, I was just wondering how many zoom lock fittings are on these things. Yeah, because <laughs> maybe they're making them higher pressure rate at those zoom lock fittings. So we'll they can see. take it. They can take it, man. I saw them testing them. They go up to like thirty five hundred PSI before they, you know, the pipe busts. It's not even the fitting that busts. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't know. I just I was curious about how they join the piping if there's a you know guy up there brazing, which so I imagine there's not. It's uh, TIG welding or welding, and if it's copper, then it's then it's brazed. Like, I want to be that guy. You know that guy makes a ton of money. It's not about the money. It's about the journey. It can be about both, though, right? <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah. <laughs> a journey tricky. without money is harder. Yeah, it is. <laughs> if you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.